Do you have a bunch of jars that you wanna make candles of but you don't know exactly how much wax and oil to put in them? Uh, today I'm gonna to be going over exactly how to fill a bunch of random jars so that you fill them up completely with no leftover wax. That includes the wax, the oils, and everything so that you don't end up with a bunch of leftover wax at the bottom. So what we're gonna be doing today is filling a bunch of different random jars from London Luxury Candle Supply in the UK. We're also gonna be using the A05 Superior Cocoa Soy from All Seasons Wax. And what we're gonna do with this one is basically use the water method and if you don't know what the water method is, it's where you take your vessel, you fill it with water, you then take that amount, call it 16 ounces, you calculate that down for the density or volume difference between the wax and the water, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our oil so that we fill every single container to the exact point where it needs to be with no leftover wax. So I'm gonna show you the different vessels that I'm gonna be using today, and let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so here are the four different vessels I'm gonna be choosing for this one. And the reason I've chosen these is they're all various sizes. Every single one of these is gonna be different. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this on the scale and zero it out. So it's coming up and I'm gonna to try to do these in ounces and grams uh, for everybody that's watching. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill each of these vessels with water so that we know exactly how much water weight is gonna be in this. And we're gonna be doing this by weight, not by volume. And you want these to go up probably about 85, 90% of the way we're gonna go ahead and take this one to right about there. We're looking right at 13.9, 13.9 ounces of water. And then we're gonna go ahead three ninety six. Three hundred and ninety-six grams. We'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and fill this next one. Zero that out. Again, we're gonna take this one all the way up to about 90% full. Actually, we're gonna keep that one right at 10 ounces. It's at 10.1 and see this one on the video too well but that's right about 90 percent we're gonna go this one is right at 10 ounces and 283 grams Thank you. 
Okay, so we've got 10.3 ounces on these, on this one. Two ninety-two grams. A couple of these came out to right around ten ounces. I thought they were going to be a little bit different, but it's not going to matter in what we're doing. All right, so we got everything lined up here. This one, ten ounces, two hundred and eighty-three grams. Ten point one, two hundred eighty-seven grams. Thirteen point nine ounces or three hundred ninety-six grams, and ten point three ounces or two hundred ninety-two grams. Now, like I said. Uh, three of these are right at 10 ounces, but it's not going to make a difference. The calculations will be the exact same if you had larger or even smaller containers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add up all the ounces, every single one of these together. So we've got 10, 10.1, 13.9, and 10.3, which is going to come up to 44.3 ounces or 1,258 grams for all these. Now what we're gonna do with this one is obviously, like I said earlier in the video, if you, if you haven't watched my other video, 44.3 ounces of water is not gonna be the same as 44.3 ounces of wax because water uh, is more dense, the wax has more volume, and I, I'm gonna bring up a picture. You see in the picture that 16 ounces of water goes to 16 fluid ounces, whereas 16 ounces of weighed wax actually fills 21 fluid ounces in the, in the measuring pitcher. So we need to account for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 44.3, 44.3 ounces, and since there's a difference of, so like I explained in the last, or so like I explained in the other video, uh, if you're looking at cubic centimeters of wax and water, they're a little bit different. So a cubic centimeter of water, we call that one, one to one, whereas wax is gonna be a little bit less. It's right around 0.8. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 44.3 times 0.8, and we're gonna take the grams, 1258. We're gonna do the same thing, 1258 times 0.8. The ounces is gonna come out to 35.44, Grams is gonna come out to 1,006. So basically what this means, instead, if we were gonna add water to every single one of these, it's gonna come out to 44.3 ounces of water and 1,258 grams of water. Now if we add 44 ounces and 1,258 grams of wax, it's gonna overflow. It's gonna be way too much because there's a lot more volume. Uh, the water is more dense. So we need to reduce that down a little bit. So 35.44 ounces of wax and 1,006 grams of wax is gonna equal the same as the water. It's gonna come out to the same volume. It's still gonna fill every single one of these to the exact point that we did. So now that we have these, we have to take into account the oils that we wanna put into this. And since we're using the Superior Cocoa Soy, the A05, uh, we're gonna add about 8% oil to this one. So. Now you can't just add, we came out to the exact measurements here. So to fill these all perfectly, it's gonna be the measurements that we have here. Now if we add oils on top of this, it's gonna overflow. So we need to take into account and reduce these down by the 0.8% that we want to have in this. And then in order to do this one, we're gonna do another calculation. Very easy, what we're gonna do is 35.44 divided by 1.08, which is gonna be our 8%, and then we're also gonna do 1,006 divided by 1.08. And the reason we're doing this one is because when you have 35.44 ounces of, of wax, 1,006 grams of wax, you can't just multiply your percentage. 35.44 times 0 0.08, you will come up with an oil ratio that's gonna fit a little bit, but it's gonna be a little bit over. So this one actually removes the exact amount of wax from this one so that we can then add the oil back in here and it equals 35.44. Now, if you do it the other way, your oil's actually gonna be a little bit more. So if we did this one, if we just went 35.44 times 0 0.08 and then reduced that, subtracted that from the 35.44, your oil ratio is actually gonna go up. It's gonna be up around 9%. So this one is gonna be 32.81. And down here in the grams, we've got 931.4. And then of course the difference between these, so what we're gonna do is take 1006, subtract 931.4. We're gonna take 35.44 ounces and subtract 32.81 
and this will come up with the exact oil percentage that we're going to add back to that. So when we do this one, you can do this two different ways. You can take 35.44, subtract 32.81, and you're going to come up with 262.63. Uh, or you can multiply this 32.81 times 0 0.08, and it's going to come up to around 2.62. So we're going to go under just a little bit because we don't want to add too much oil. Now obviously the 2.62 and 2.63 is not going to be a huge difference, but we're going to go ahead and calculate just under so that we don't accidentally get sweating inside the candle when it hardens. And then with this one, we're going to do the exact same thing. So if we take 1,006, subtract 931.4, we come up with 74.6. And if we multiply this 931.4 times 0 0.08, which is our oil percentage, we come up with 74.5. Now again, the difference is very little, but we're gonna go ahead and add just under. So we're gonna go ahead and measure out the wax and then add our oils. All right, so I've got the pitcher on here. We're gonna go ahead and add, like I said, we're using the Superior Cocoa Soy A05 from All Seasons Wax. We're gonna go ahead and add 32.81 ounces or 931.4 grams. Okay, so we've got 931 grams of wax in here, or 32.8 ounces. So it's right at, we've got the exact grams, the ounces are just a little bit over, but it's not gonna make a huge difference because it's only a 0.3 difference and then we're gonna go ahead and melt this down okay and for the oil we're gonna go ahead and add 74 74.5 grams of oil all right so we are right at 74 grams or 2.6 ounces of oil Okay, so the wax is fully melted now. We're gonna go ahead and add our oil. Stir that for a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and pour and all four of these should come out to exactly where we measured with the water. If it doesn't, this is gonna be a terrible demonstration. We'll go back through and fill those. I just want to get wax in all of them. All right, so you can see in these, this one and this one are just a little bit lower. So the calculation is just about spot on. Uh, we're using the cocoa superior, or this, we're using the superior cocoa soy, so it might be a little bit different than like the 464, which is the 0.8 calculation. So this one, you might add just a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up probably another ounce of wax, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill these right here. All right, so you can see once I got done with that, I added about a half ounce, maybe a little bit more, maybe closer to an ounce of wax and then filled those just a little bit. It didn't take much, so the calculation was really close. Now, if you wanted to bump that up just a little bit, you'd probably be okay, but even with those, but even with the calculation that we used, 
all of them filled to right around the 80, 85. Uh, some of these were up at like the 90% mark. So that actually wasn't too bad. We're gonna go ahead and let these harden up and we'll see what they look like. And I will point out now, some of you are probably wondering if you're new to the channel, why I didn't put wicks in these. And the reason I didn't put wicks in these is they're all four jars that I haven't used yet. So basically what I'm gonna do when those candles get done, I'm gonna go ahead and take the can or I'm gonna go ahead and take the vessel with the hardened wax in there. And I usually just take a skewer or a drill bit and push it right down through the center of the wax and then cut probably a two or two or three inch section of wick and then just push it right down in the middle. That way I can test different wicks. You light one, you burn it, let it get a full melt pool. If it's not the right wick, you just remove that wick and then put another one in there and then burn it again. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's exactly how you fill a bunch of different containers if you don't know exactly what the amount is uh, as far as wax, oil, and, and everything else that goes into them. Now you can see in the video, it was a little bit off. It actually wasn't that bad, so you might bump that up just a little bit, depending on the wax that you're using. So, so if you're bouncing between like beeswax or Parasoy 464 or the coconuts or the superior coconut soy, you might alter that just a little bit. You can see it was probably maybe like an ounce off, so it actually wasn't that bad. And like I was saying at the end of the video, I didn't wick these on purpose. You can see that I've poked three different holes in this one. And basically what I did is I took the, I took the barbecue thermometer that has a big long skewer and I just ran it down through the wax to make a hole and then cut off like a little three inch piece of wick and just go ahead and drop that down into the container and then cut that. And of course I'm gonna put three different wicks in there, uh, the different sizes just to see what burns properly. And I'm gonna do that with the rest of the vessels. And again, that's probably the best way to test a vessel like that. Uh, because you definitely don't want to ruin the vessel by putting wicks in it, burning it all the way down, and then you've got to remove them all. Doing it this way, you can definitely find the right wick for the right vessel. And then once you're done, you can melt all the wax out of that and then reuse the vessel. So I hope that video was at least helpful. I had somebody ask me about a week ago specifically about this question, which is why I wanted to make this video. So uh, if I glossed over anything or if the, and I'm hoping the calculations are correct, I've messed up a little bit on some of the ones in the past. So I think everything is good in this one. Like I said, it was off just a little bit. You might bump that up just a little bit more to accommodate for some of the different volume or the density differences between the waxes. So of course, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments down below. I'll try to go through and update and answer those. And if you'd like to see another video like this one, please let me know in the comments also. And then of course you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed in the video description down below, Instagram, Facebook, my website, the email address if you wanna reach out. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.